In today's Madden 18 video, we're going to be talking about how to read the defense in Madden 18. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw on our, just a couple of keys that I think is really, really powerful. I know I've talked a lot about reading the defense in prior videos, but today I really, really want to hone in on uh, just a couple of things. And what we're going to do to do this is we're going to use our, our traditional bunch. One of, the play, one of the playbooks I really like is the Kansas City playbook this year. But anyways, um, if the cornerbacks are backed off and they're looking at the quarterback, normally what that means is they're in zone coverage. Now, what the other thing you need to identify when you're looking, um, when you're reading the defense, is the linebackers. You know, what are the linebackers doing? What are they looking like? Are they um, are they in zone or man? And you can tell that by the corners. You can tell that by those other guys. So real quick, um, but before we get into that, I want to, do, to welcome you guys to my channel. I want to encourage those of you that are new. Uh, my name is Cody, and I just want to encourage you to uh, leave a comment at the end of this video and let me know um, how you found my channel. And then uh, secondly, what is your name? I'd really like to meet you and connect with you in the uh, comments. But real quickly, um, you should have plays. So, so everybody has plays, right? You know, everybody has, you know, two, three plays that they really, really like to run. The problem for most people is they don't know when to run them, okay? And that's that's where reading the defense really comes in and can really be a big help for you. So uh, the key with reading the defense is asking yourself the question pre-snap, what is the defense probably going to do? If you ask yourself that question, nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to answer it, okay? It's just by thinking through a couple critical things. So... Um, when I look at the defense here, I'm asking myself that question right now. You know, what is the defense probably going to do? Well, they got two linebackers pinched in, so those linebackers are probably going to blitz. The middle linebackers are probably going to go in zone. They're probably going to be in some type of man coverage or uh, you know zone coverage, whatever uh, it may be. Uh, I oh, what a catch by Terrence Williams there. He bailed me out. So right there, um, oftentimes when they pinch in like that and they have one safety over top, it means a couple things. You're probably going to see cover zero, cover one, or cover three. Right there we saw cover three. Here you see the safeties moving. Now it looks like they just audibled out to cover four because there's four deep safeties. Um, they could also be in two-man under or cover two, but more than likely it's cover four. With the linebackers pinched in like that, it means one of them's probably going to blitz, one of them's probably going to go in a zone. So with all that information, what I need to know is, can they really blitz me? They can't really blitz me here. Uh, I'm going to have time to be able to hit uh, open receivers. So snap the ball. What a play. That was one of the best plays I've ever seen. As I throw a terrible interception, we'll, uh, we'll let them score so you can see us uh, go down and win. Oh, man, that was a terrible. He's been baiting me that all game. So that was really good by him, and I just made a really poor read. The um, I knew it was, I think he was in cover four. What didn't happen, what I thought was going to happen was the linebacker. And that's where you got to check, and that's where it was my mistake. I saw the guy going out there. I thought I could get the ball over there before the guy got there. I just couldn't get it there. Um, and, you know, part of that was just a really good play by his safety. But, anyways, right there, I should have checked down to the tight end. I had the tight end wide open. All I had to do was just throw him the ball. Um, so that's just part of part of, uh, part of of getting better. Um, again, guys, one thing that I think a lot of people don't quite understand about my channel is I'm not the best player in the game. And I never have claimed to be the best player in the game. Uh, I'm just as, you know, I'm, I, I have just as many struggles as most people. You know, I just try to share content that has helped me get better. So don't ever think that I don't, I don't ever lose because I have lost many games. All right, so here he is back in that cover three look. I think he's trying to bait me to throw the out routes. He seems to, to really want to take advantage of that. He hasn't been able to stop uh, Z spot all game long. So Des Bryant's just going to be all over that. Yeah, and this is where this is why I say my goal offensively is to not turn the ball over, to not make mistakes, to be able to have clean drives. So here, reading the defense again, and again, you just got to ask yourself, what are they probably going to do? He's been baiting me all game with the uh, with the deep stuff. So here, you've got cover three more than likely because there's one safety guy. He's played a lot of zone, not a whole lot of man uh, has come from him. I'm just going to take my check down to Zeke. Because um, what he's doing is he is running hard flat, um, hard flats on the outside. And what that's going to open up is it's going to open up corner routes. It's also going to open up C routes. So you'll see on this next drive um, what I'll be able to do with the fact that he's been running these hard flats over and over again. 
um, this is now going to open up uh, you know a lot of room for the offense here so we're going to run uh, Z spot here and there's the hard flat and Dak overthrowing that sucks Dak overthrowing by a mile but this guy's MO is he's going to run hard flat. So that's – so and then you kind of pick that up as tendencies. That's going to kind of come to you as the game goes along. But when you're really reading the defense, again, uh, I want to encourage you, you just got to ask yourself that question. So you come up, he's got three down linemen, he's in that 3-4. Those linebackers are bouncing out wide. What that normally means is what he's been doing over and over again in this is he has been um, – you know, he, he's just been running – uh, heavy zone coverage out of it. The linebackers pinch in so that I can't run the ball, um, you know. But but again, an inside zone out of that is not too bad. Something else you can try is I could come out in a mid draw because what this guy's doing is he's not blitzed at all. Not blitzed at all. It's been standard four man pressures the entire game. Um, so here shows 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 a pretty good likelihood that there might be a blitz uh, with the linebackers spreading. Um, they're definitely stacked to the right, so I'm going to slide protect to the right, and uh, I'm going to run PA post. So snap the ball. Oh, there's that hard flat again. Good play. And again, this has been his MO all game long, is to run, um, is to run a lot of hard flats. Here we're going to go mid draw. Mid draw for those of you that don't know is probably the best run from shotgun. Um, just just based off what I've seen, it's probably the best run from shotgun. Inside zone, everybody's gonna you know. Well, read option is good too, but running the ball from shotgun is is pretty good this year. Um, it just is. So if you guys want to get better, run the ball from shotgun. All right, so I'm expecting him to run cover too hard flat. We're gonna be able to hit this corner route. No, we weren't able to complete it. That's okay. Fourth and five. This is a money down. For those of you that really, really want to get better, again, I want to encourage you to check out our premium membership. It's in the description. You can find the link to it. Um, check that out. It has six ebooks. Four of them are going to be released later on in the season. Two of them are already out. It also has a one hour video every week that's going to give you an update to uh, different schemes, different tactics, different things that I'm seeing, mistakes that I've made. You know, kind of why am I losing? Um, oftentimes, I can help you guys quite a bit. So be sure to check that out. I've heard a lot of good feedback from it. All righty. So right here, really no other play than Z-Spot for me. There's a touchdown. Did he get in? So he's been running again. Um, this is what's interesting about this. And this is what's interesting about kind of the video I did prior to this video uh, talking about uh, constraint theory and, 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 and quarterbacking and, and play calling and things like that. Whenever you're on the – whenever you're a quarterback, whenever you're watching, you know, you're reading the defense, you're, you're trying to make a play, you're trying to make things happen, what most people don't quite understand is oftentimes – you're, you're going to try to hone in on one play. And so one of the mistakes I made was I was running verticals way too much and I wasn't running Z spot enough. And so what was happening was I was attacking the outside, uh, but I was not ever running the inside. I was not ever attacking the inside. So towards the end of the game, he left the inside open for the last half of the game. And uh, it was able to really make a difference. Uh, I'll let you guys watch the rest of this video um, and kind of see how the game plays out. But we're going to definitely get the win here um, and be able to uh, be able to sleep a little easier. So, uh, but anyways, guys, that's kind of the keys. Uh, there's an interception. Oh, I've got to make that interception, man. This guy, he's thrown for 95 yards on me. So, I mean, obviously the offense is certainly to blame for this one because of the lack of, and again, this is what I talk about all the time, is it really does, it comes down to, turnovers it, it, it's so it, it's just so important that you don't turn the ball over okay it just really is there's slants there's a big sack big big sack now we're going to be able to go two men under again guys this defense that uh we've been running here it just launched um people just got access to it last week in the premium membership and i've heard nothing but good things uh for me it's been the best defense that i've ever actually ran um 
it seems like every year I'm able to find something that is better than the year before. And there's the interception, and we seal the game. Thanks for watching today, guys. Again, if you want the defense, if you want the offense, you want anything, you want to get better,